So today you guys are going to need a basket muzzle, a bunch of small treats, I use Raw Instinct Boosters, some peanut butter that does not contain xylitol, and a clicker is optional, but I prefer them best. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to train our dogs how to wear a basket muzzle. It's really important that we break the negative stigma about muzzles so more people will be prone to teach their dogs to wear them. There are several reasons why you may need to use a basket muzzle, and almost every dog will probably need to use them at least once in their life. A couple of reasons why you might need to use it are building confidence in people. If you have a reactive dog and you're not sure if they're going to bite, if you're able to put a muzzle on, you know that they'll be safe, you'll feel calmer, therefore making the dog feel calmer. Another reason is aggression. So aggression with other dogs, aggression with people. Anytime you're trying to counter condition or you're working with a trainer, having a muzzle will keep everybody safe. Another problem would be emergencies. So if your dog was to break his leg and the doctor was trying to examine it, a dog in pain will bite if given the chance. Even the best dog can show aggression whenever they are in pain. Another reason would be pica. So pica is when your dog is walking and they pick up things on the ground and they swallow it. Um, if you're working with a dog that has that, sometimes when you put a muzzle on them when you're walking, it'll keep them from swallowing things that they shouldn't have in their mouth. So with today's training lesson, I'm going to use a clicker. A clicker is a great way to mark correct behaviors. You guys can also use the word yes, and I will probably also use them interchangeably. If you are just not getting a clicker, I recommend that you look up how to best use a clicker. But the way that we start is we click and treat over and over again, so the dog learns click means treat. So this is where I'm starting with Kona. She knows it, but it's just good so that way you guys can see what we're doing. But the first thing that I want you guys to make sure is that you get a basket muzzle that will fit your dog. Basket muzzles come in different sizes, and it's really important that when they put their mouth in, that they can open their mouth, close their mouth, they can pant, their nose isn't touching the end, and you can administer treats. Sometimes we'll leave these on for quite a while and we want to make sure that we can properly give our dogs reinforcement when they are being good with their muzzle on, therefore they need to be able to eat. So whenever you're getting this, um, I use the Basker muzzle, Baskerville muzzle, that's what it's called. Um, and what I do is I make sure that when I put their face on that their nose comes to about right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. But the cool thing about Baskerville is you can put this in hot water for about five minutes and then you can mold the outside and then stick it in cold water and then it will better fit your dog's nose if your dog has a longer or different shaped nose. So the first thing that we're going to do today is I'm going to let Kona know that when the muzzle comes out, so do treats. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to bring it out and anytime she was, she's already looking at it because she knows, but anytime she touches it or for your dogs, if they just look at it, you're going to reward every time. Yes! Good girl. She's already trying to put it on. She does know this. Your dog probably won't put their face in it right off the back. Yes! Good girl. Good job, Mama. Good. Yes! Good! Very nice. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to teach Kona to put her muzzle in the muzzle. What you want to do is you want to take some treats and put it right at the end and slowly reward every time their face gets closer and closer inside. Muzzle, yes, good. I call it muzzle, you guys can call it whatever you want. Um, I've heard people call it treat basket, whatever you want. So when she puts her muzzle in, she gets a click and she receives the treat. This is marking the behavior that I want. If you're having to use a muzzle and you have to take it and put it around them very fast. A lot of times it can be handicapping for them and make them even more stressed because they can't use their one defense mechanism. So it's really important that we make sure that the basket muzzle is something that is exciting for them to put on and it doesn't feel like something that's tying them behind their, with their hands behind their back. Once you're doing really good at this, you can start adding duration and how long that they're keeping it on. So what I would do is I would take a couple treats in your hand and slowly offer them one by one as their mouth is in the muzzle. So that way we're working a little bit on duration. So I'm gonna click each time she's getting the treat. Good girl, good girl. Awesome, perfect. So now that Kona is putting it on with a cue, muzzle. 
I'm going to start working on the part where it wraps around her head. The way we'll do this is we'll condition to it just like we would any other collar. I'm going to wrap it, drop it. So that way she learns it's not a big deal. So if one day her muzzle's in there and it gets pulled around her face, it's nothing to be worried about. Yes, good job. Good job, Kona. Yes, good girl. So I don't know if you guys could see that, but I did actually put it around her face. Let me get her turned around a little bit so you can see it. Come here, go. Yes, good. Good job. Muzzle. Yes. Tighten it and drop it. Good girl. That was so good. Good job. Good shake off. Nice. So anytime you see any stress signals, you may want to take it down a notch. Um, so she just did a shake off, which basically, or a shake off, which basically just means that she could be experiencing a little bit of stress. So I'm going to give her a break and I'm going to slow down a bit. All right. The next step is where things get dirty, but also get fun. We are going to grab our peanut butter or string cheese, spray cheese, whatever you want. We're going to put a little bit of it right where her mouth is while we work on actually buckling it and leaving it on. So I use my finger. This is dog peanut butter, you guys. I don't actually, actually, I won't give it to you. I'm sorry. Um, I don't actually put my finger in my peanut butter. <laughs> so I'm going to show it to her. She's going to put her head in and start licking. That's when I'm going to take it around her head. I'm going to secure it. Once it's secured, I'll also secure the top. And then I'm going to start working on duration of it being on. So right now I'm going to wait for 30 seconds while she's licking the peanut butter out. The next time I might build to a minute and then two minutes and five minutes. Always take it at the pace of what your dog is comfortable. If they start showing stress, you want to go ahead and dial it down a bit and start with a little bit smaller. Go back to the one that they were comfortable with, build on that one a little bit, and then add some more duration as they go. Once you get good with that, start working on it outside, around distractions, and around places where they get maybe a little bit more stressed out, but still feel comfortable wearing the muzzle, because when the muzzle comes out, so do treats. I hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions.